Hola folks, but I am the one, the only, I am El Vagabundo. No, I am, yeah, Iho. Del Hobo. Why does he change these, these things all the time? I am Iho Del Hobo El Vagabundo. Dos. And I'm here to start off this amazing wrestling night. Yes. There's going to be three videos. Dr. Tom and Hobo Tom have not showed up tonight. Yet. <laughs> that means I get to read tequila. Tequila is good. So let's see here. So this is a night or weekend full of wrestling events. None of which Hobo Tom will see. But he is El Hobo. And he has to go work. El NASCAR races. See. Si. So let's see here. So this is for Triple A Rea de Reyes. Oh, I'm. So, I feel so bad that he's missing this, but pff, oh well. Someone has to work while I drink all the tequila. So you know what? Hit my. The music. Let's start off probably with the first match, um, Los Mercenarios versus Los Vipers, and Octagon Jr. versus Sexy Star. Dos. You know what? Only because it's Sexy Star and Dos. I predict because this is the mixed, mixed tag team triple threat match. Octagon Jr. and Sexy Star. Dos win. I don't know why. It's sexy star. Then, unfortunately, in my oh, I am so sorry. Excess always crazy. You know what? I can't have this as my snooze match. But you know what? I'll change that though. And oh, that's going to be amazing. No, because that's that. And that's that. C. So we have Willie Mac in a trios match. We have Willie Mac, Mr. Iguana. Hey. E. Nino Hamburguesa versus Los Vipers. How can I ever root against Nino Hamburguesa? E. Mr. Iguana. E. Willie Mack. Those three of swing. And then in the women's match, Marvella versus Lady Shani versus. Flamer versus Taya Valkyrie. Taya's back. And this is to determine who faces Diana Prazzo for the Re, uh, Regina Championship. Championship Regina. Listen, you know what? Nonsensical. This is my stone cold. Lock. Ty Valkyrie wins. End of sentence. Then, yeah, this makes more sense. La Empresa versus La Familia Real versus Nueva Generacion Dementia. You know what? I wouldn't care. This is my snooze match, also known as my time to get more tequila. Nuevo Generation Dinamita wins. Who cares? And then, dun, 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 Psycho Clown. 
versus Laredo Kid. Oh, Bandido's in need. Versus Bandido El Bandido versus Cybernetica, maybe versus Pentagon. No, I don't know. We'll see. I'll say with what originally was put out. You know what? I cannot go against what I've always said. El Mariachi, El Bandido wins. Then we have the Lucha Brothers, the Dragon Lee, the Tralistic. Hmm, they are no longer triple A, triple A champions. You know what? Lucha Brothers still win. They have to be so long. And then, oh, 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 oh in my match. De la noche. It is going to be Io del Vikingo, the current Triple A, Triple A Mega Champion, versus. Oh, I am not worthy, sir. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. He's come back. I don't know what his last name is. But it's Johnny Mundo. Historical, historically, Triple A always puts the Mega Championship on the Gringo. It's still my match of the night. Johnny Mundo wins. And that's what I'm going to predict. Uh oh. Oh crap. I, I better get out of here. I hear someone coming. I'll be back. But those are my predictions though. I'll return someday. Where's my hat? Where's my covering? What in the seven realms of Dante's Paradiso is my cap doing on top of the ceiling fan? Why does this Hobo's hovel smell like a Mexican whorehouse? What is wrong with this person? For it is a red wine Friday. I shall sip while you listen to my music. The music of Dr. Tom. Ah, what is that vile fluid? Did that, wait a second, the sense of Mexican house of ill repute, the taste of fermented agave in my drink, that means only hats on top of ceiling fans, that could only mean one thing, that vile and wretched, Io del Hobo El Vagabundo. What is he? Two, two. Showed up to this place. How vile and disgusting a human being that person is. For I am the most respected. Again, by my rose of academic nature, Dr. Tom. I'm here to predict a much more civilized wrestling event such as Impact. No surrender. From the opening match, and I do not know all these matches for... I can barely read the scribble of this... Owner of this wretched... I mean, look at this. And such plebeian. Who would leave... Such a shirt as this. this. Lying on the ground, the shirt should be burnt. And disposed of properly, in fact. Oh. 
I feel dumber by just touching it. My hands feel filthy of grease, carbon from alcohol fuel, and vulcanized rubber. Horrible. This hobo, I shall have words with him one day. But I'm here to predict a more civilized thing. I'm here to predict some impact wrestling. No surrender. So we start off. Oh, yes. With my stone cold lock. The night is guaranteed. Bet all of your million. Oh, you people don't have millions. Bet whatever pennies and shiny things are in your wallet. Yes, maybe your cheap $2 watch on this match. We have Eric Young. The man with the graveliest, manliest voice in all professional wrestling against Switchblade, Jay White. I predict Jay White must be strong in his Impact debut. Therefore, Jay White prevails. And then, oh my goodness. You're going to have a clash of styles. You have on one side the Bullet Club, the original Bullet Club members, the machine gunner himself, Carl Anderson, and his partner, Doc Gallows. And then on the opposing them, you have the feared Gorillas of Destiny, also from Bullet Club, for well, this is just should be renamed Bullet Club the Civil War. Although we all know wars are very uncivilized. But yes, I should go out on a bold prediction and say the OG Bullet Club of the machine gunner himself, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows prevail over the gorillas of destiny. Oh. And then we have this conglomeration of two opposing viewpoints. We have honor no more, the most wretched hive, most villainous people. Again, no more wretched hive of scum and villainy shall you find from Honor No More versus Team Impact to retain their honor. Team Impact will prevail. And then probably a nothing match. Unless one of these ladies turn into a lady of the night by removing or having removed articles of Certain articles of clothing, indeed, I shall however nap through it for I have much finer things to watch than to watch two women engage in a, in a, in a cat fight in which one's brazier gets torn off her bosom and exposes her ample wo womanhood to others. So I shall, so between the match between Mickey James and Tasha steals, Mickey James prevails. Again, who would watch such degrading material for women? I shall snooze through that match. And then, in our main event, my match of the night. The one from Moose Nation, obviously somewhere in Minnesota, Michigan, possibly that place called Canada. Moose versus most uncouth W. Morrissey. For you know what? Moose! from Moose Nation. 
to be victorious. And that is Impact News Surrender. Who's that at the door? Or what kind of foul person is peddling their wares at this, even at this hovel? I will be back, folks. I hope. Unless this song takes my life. God knows what kind of uncivilized ruffians. Hey, you! You need to take a bath. You smell like a Mexican whorehouse. And you don't even get me started. Stop drinking my good scotch. What have I told you before? At least leave money. I don't care what monetary system you use. I don't take Bitcoin. I take cash. Cream rules everything around me. Or cash rules everything around me. Cream. Give me money. Another dollar bill, y'all. Oh. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I am the I am the one and the only Hobo Tom. The two people you saw before you were imposters. You had that that person who needs to freaking take a shower, and not and and not bathing in the river. That's not a shower. That river's fairly scuzzy. That's Slimo. Yo, Del Hobo, El Vega, but I don't know, 27. And you, you, you pompous son of a bitch. Leave me money for my scotch. Yeah, and bring me some of your rich, hot women too. Oh, I didn't say that. But yeah, Dr. Tom freaking drinks my good scotch I got from that one day. And that guy drinks my tequila and stinks. The hell's wrong with these, like a Mexican whorehouse. And then burritos. Street corn is not good for you, not in the quantities you eat it in, you fat bastard. And you don't even get to the, I don't even, I can't even pronounce the name of the foods you eat. God damn, rich people, I don't know what they do with their money. However, I am a humble hobo. Do I even want to, I don't even know what's in that. That could be a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know. You know what? Even though so it was Red Wine Friday, a little sip of ginger ale for me. Who knows? Probably better for my digestive tract anyway. Wait a second. I forgot something. Hit my music. That's right, folks. For I am the one, the only hobo, Tom. I am sorry. I told you, don't mess up my shirts. I have to wear this. Sh I have to wear this shirt freaking, freaking this weekend because that's where I'm working. Which one of you two more, which one of you two goofballs did that? I'll find out. I'm going to beat you. My hockey stick. Son of a bitch. But yeah. I don't know why they show up to my house, use my video equipment. Drink my booze. And don't even leave me their, their women or money. That's a whole other issue, though. For again, I am the one, the only hobo, Tom. And you know what? Just, just hit my music. Yeah, I'm here to do some predictions. Um, I actually have to work. This is one of the few times of the year where I actually have a job. So, I have to go work the racetracks, in fact... I have to wake up in about six and a half hours. Brutality. Um, but yeah, only because I have to go to some godforsaken parking lot in the middle of nowhere. Or at least in the middle of nowhere, Daytona Beach. Let's see here. You know what? Let's make some predictions here, folks. Um, oh yeah, Brock Lesnar women. You know what? Who's going to win that? There we go. Done. Um, let's talk about Elimination Chamber over in Saudi Arabia. That show's on at 9 in the morning. Listen, folks. There's only two reasons why I wake up at 9 in the morning. It is to go to work because someone's willing to pay me a pile of money. Or to go fishing. That's it. If not, I'm still in bed. 
probably sobering up. But who knows? Let's see about the show anyway. You know what? I haven't watched wrestling this whole week. I've been actually, I've actually been working, which is a good thing. But yeah, so I know we have at least five matches. Um, let's just say we'll start off with Lita versus Becky Lynch. Lita's not going to win. You know what? I would still be asleep through this. Oh, wait, I have that. Ooh, wait, maybe I will change that. Maybe there's only four matches. I don't know unless they added something. They probably added some stupid tag team match. I don't care. Whoever the tag team champion is, they retain their belt. Yeah, that's my, that's my prediction. Tag team champion retains their belt. Yeah, this is just like a glorified house show. So then we have Lita versus Becky Lynch. <laughs> yeah, I know who's winning that match. They're not putting the one. They're not putting any women's championship on Lita. Lita still has an amazing, amazing whale tail when she wants to show it, but she's way too mommyish for me. Becky Lynch is a champ. They're gonna be in some full ridiculous spandex outfit because it's Saudi Arabia, and they don't like to show women's tummies. Or whale tails. Yeah. So you know what? Becky Lynch wins, but I don't care. I would still be asleep even if I had to watch this match. So this is my snooze of the night. See, then in my women's and elimination chamber match. I have no idea. What they really should do, if they wanted to make any storyline that made sense, Alexa Bliss would go far. You know what? I'll say Rhea Ripley wins though. It's, it's WWE Elimination Chambers, who cares? Glorified host show. Rhea Ripley wins. Oh, wow. Then we'll have the men's elimination chamber. This, folks, is both my stone cold lock of the night. As well. You know what? Yeah, I won't say that. This is my stone cold lock of the night. Brock Lesnar has to win. Because, again, this will set up things between Brock and Roman in the future. It's not necessarily bad. And then as far as I know, I guess the match of the night is going to go to Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. This needs to be short. Actually, you know what? I'm going to flip-flop this. This is my Stone Cold lock of the night. The other one is the match of the night. Don't pay any attention to what I say. This is my Stone Cold lock. The other one... And before was the match of the night. There's only three, four matches? Jeez, there's going to be a lot of filler matches. There'll be some, like, Arabian person there, too. Person from Arabia wins. There's another prediction. There's another bold prediction. But, yeah, um... Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. Roman Reigns has to win. He's not dropping the belt. That would screw up everything for WrestleMania. You know what? Now I have to clean up this house... And air this house out. And start to catalog what booze are missing. Because of those previous two losers. And then I have to get to sleep. Because I have to wake up and actually go to a paying job. So you know what folks. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't mind my bad attitude. That's what happens when, when, when someone smells like a Mexican whorehouse. And, and the other guy drinks all your good expensive scotch. What can I do about it? Everyone else have a good night. Enjoy all the rest.